Hey, I'm back again today to talk to you about how to embroider on toilet paper. Now, are you kidding me? <laughs> I am not kidding you. I know it seems quite odd to embroider on it, but you know, those of us who love to embroider will do it on just about anything. So, here we go. We have an array of toilet paper. It's a mountain of toilet paper, as my six-year-old told me. Now, of course, I don't have all of these designs uh, in my bathroom at the same time, but as you can tell, they're very Cute. seasonal. So I have a set of applique uh, designs for toilet paper as well as motifs. So kind of fun. But right now, what I want to talk to you about is how to make the snowman s'more toilet paper. And I know a lot of you wanted to find out exactly how I did it, how I wrapped it up. And in a class I've done before, some may have been a little confused at the very beginning of the step I did in how to roll the toilet paper. So I'm going to show you today how to do that. Basically, I have my 4x4 hoop and I have simply um, hooped a cutaway stabilizer inside of it. Now, of course, I'm not going to uh, hoop the toilet paper itself because well, it, might, it will tear a lot easier. So what I'm going to do, and let's see if we can get this, Kim. I've unrolled my toilet paper, and I have one, two, two squares of toilet paper. Two squares, got I'm, it. I'm going to treat it as if it's one square. So okay. I'm going to fold it under once, and again one more time. There we do go. Do that one more time. Twice. There Do we that go. one more time. One more time? So okay. we don't have to rewind it. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Not a bad idea. Okay, I have square one and square two. I simply fold it under once. Got it. Okay, okay. and I fold it under again one more time. All right, so now I'm treating this as if it was the end of my roll, but this is the square I'm going to embroider on. Okay, I do that just because it adds a little bit more um, layers for stabilizing and when I get to the very end, I don't have the seam right there. My seam is over here, which will be tucked around the back, which will make more sense when you see it all finished. But I just take a roll of scotch tape and I'm going to just very carefully kind of eyeball this, center it in my hoop. Add a little piece there, and a little piece there, and now I'm ready to take it over to the embroidery machine. Again, I am not uh, tearing it away from my roll. I'm going to keep the roll connected, but it's now ready to uh, embroider my snowman. Okay, I'm going to take another look real quick okay. at this motif here, because I think it's so cute for Christmas. Oh yeah, the holly. See that? Yeah. Yeah, kind of pretty. It looks like it would stitch out really fast, too. It does. It's very, very fast. Um, not a very high stitch count. Of course, not a high density either. So okay. it works out really nicely. And how cute is that? Rick rack around it. Because everyone you. needs Rick rack around their toilet <laughs> paper, Chris. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I know, I know. People know, need Rick rack on everything. That's, uh, well, that's, that's what, what I, I say. Definitely. Yeah. Absolutely. And, you know, these would be really cute um, given as a gift set for somebody. Or you could even wrap them up individually in a little cellophane wrap with a bow on top. And it's a perfect gift to give to someone who just needs a little cheering up <laughs> when they're feeling a little poopy. Oh, oh nice. Just kidding. <laughs> nice. That's lovely, Chris. Okay. Thanks for sharing that. Sorry. Had to. Okay. One more thing that I'm thinking of. Uh, this would be really cute as individually wrapped uh, gifts that people could sell at a craft fair. Don't you think? Yes, absolutely. Um, because they're very unique. And I, they're cheap. And they're, cheap. <laughs> they're cheap to make. <laughs> but I bet you could sell it for quite a bit. Yeah, possibly. <laughs> if you do it, let her know. Yeah, let me know. I'd okay. love to see it. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks, Chris. You bet. Bye.